Peter, let me ask you first of all, just why did you commission this economic impact study? Well, we've always felt that um, football in general, and Celtic in particular, uh, the contribution that's made to the Glasgow and Scottish economy was always undervalued. So we wanted to um, have that recognised, if you like. So we engaged the Fraser Valander Institute, who are world class in this sort of research, to give the, the whole project a status. It is a, a fairly detailed study. One thing that stands out to me is that Celtic is worth more to the economy than, than golf is in Scotland. What are the key findings for yourself? Absolutely. So key finding is that we, we contribute around 165 million per year to the Scottish economy. We help to support around just under 3,000 jobs. And you're right, when you compare again, say, the Scottish golfing industry, we actually contribute more to the economy than Scottish golf. And indeed, we commit more each year or, or contribute more each year to the Scottish economy than the Commonwealth ga Games here did in a one-off. So it's very, very significant. Celtic Park, I see, is the seventh most visited destination in this country. There are clearly opportunities there out with the club's own promotion of its brand in, in a national context. Yeah, I think there's much, much more we can do. For, um, we, uh, one of the purposes of this is really to, to, to look at partnership. And we feel there are particular partnerships available there with the City Council and the government to actually, for example, exploit that uh, tourism factor. So we believe that if we join together, we can really increase tourism in Glasgow and create Celtic Park as a destination, is number one. Number two, uh, again, partnerships like uh, the public transport, the infrastructure. I'm sure we could work together to improve the infrastructure here and around Celtic Park. And thirdly, and one specific that at the moment that is an issue is that we are um, some discussion around a draconian parking zone which uh, takes our supporters further and further away from the stadium and where they're able to park. We feel that we are good neighbours, we feel that we could probably, be, if we can, we will become better neighbours, but we feel if we could get together then that, there is really little need for that and it, which would particularly inconvenience the supporters. Football, we know, is a, is a booming industry in, in Europe and, and worldwide. Celtic is the, the 25th strongest brand in, in world football. Football tourism now is a big deal, isn't it? Absolutely, and we feel that we can do more. We've had a great start. In terms of our tours at the moment, we're top 20 in Europe. Uh, we're hoping to look at building a museum, but we can create a real um, attractive destination for Celtic and for Glasgow here. And again, that's where we want to start discussions. And, you, and Celtic is, again, from the, uh, as you say, it's the 25th biggest brand in world football, which is a phenomenal asset for a, a city like Glasgow to have. Um, it, not just a positive report for, for the club in terms of its economic impact, but also the foundation as well. It was quoted as being unlike standard football club foundations in scale and scope. Yeah, again, that's something we're very, very proud of. And other than the economic side, we did, they did have a look at the social side and that is something that we are very proud of. We say we're a club like no other and clearly these findings in terms of how sincere we are, how genuine we are with our foundation, its fundraising and its output is really something we should be proud of. The report makes certain recommendations. What is important for, for yourself in terms of the future? Yeah, I think these partnership proposals, whether it's um, with the City Council, the government or other institutions, we now hope that this report gives, others, uh, gives us the recognition with others that we are a serious economic driver, social driver and also uh, culturally in Scotland. We would like to start discussions and start um, exploring ways that we can expand together. The, the report actually does say that it recommends further research, which we would very much support in terms of Celtic and Scottish football and what it delivers uh, for Scotland. Professor Graham Roy, you have um, produced this, this commissioned report. What for you were the, the key findings? So what the report does is look at the economic contribution of Celtic to Scotland's economy and we take the 2016-17 season as, as the benchmark. And what we do is we look at the contribution of the club itself through its various activities and the spending it does through the Scottish economy and then we also look at the contribution of the supporters who come and watch Celtic and we calculate the full economic impact across the entire Scottish economy. So from yourself, you know, 
been very experienced in this field, having done a lot of these reports, were there any of the key findings that, that stood out for you that perhaps surprised you? Well, the first thing to say is quite a significant contribution that that's, uh, Celtic make to the Scottish economy. So looking at the, the gross impact, £165 million uh, in, in one season. And the important thing to remember is that occurs every single season. So it's quite a significant long-term boost to the Scottish economy. And that supports a large number of jobs, about 2,800 jobs across Scotland. So that's quite a significant economic footprint uh, into the Scottish and also into the Glasgow economy. And one of the things we also found that was really interesting was the net inflow of people to come and watch Celtic from outside um, Scotland. So that we estimate in a given year it's about 100,000 additional people coming into the country to, to, to look at Celtic matches. Yeah, so we're talking here, people maybe think of it as being just in terms of people coming to, to go to football games and then, you know, spend money when, when they're here. There is the match day element, of course, which is a large part of the contribution, but there is also Celtic Park, Celtic as a brand and, and what it brings in in terms of football tourism. Very much so. So there's a variety of different things that we look at. So one is the football tourism aspect, so to come and look at museums, spend in the retail uh, elements, etc. But what we also calculate is what we call uh, in the economics field the supply chain effects, so the ripple effects through the Scottish economy. So that's the knock-on effects of expenditure by Celtic into local shops, into retailers, into professional services firms, and also the impact of supporters doing exactly the same. So it's not just the, the in impact of Celtic itself but across the entire Scottish economy. We're looking here at Celtic as an organisation bringing more uh, or making more of a contribution than the, the golf industry in Scotland than, than a one-off big event like the Commonwealth Games on an annual basis but also the foundation was, was looked at as well. Yeah so the two things on that so one is the thing that's quite interesting about football is that it happens every single year so while these one-off events are important so whether that be you know something like the Commonwealth Games or the Open Championship etc you know football happens you know every Saturday um, and that happens across Scotland uh, as well so it's a regular economic boost to, to the country. And, this, and you're right, the second thing we look at as well is not just what we would call the raw economic impacts, but also the social economic impacts, so the contribution that the foundation makes in its various ways to tackle inequality, improve health, etc. So it's a full package that we look at in this report. You also, um, at the end of the report, listed recommendations go going forward. What, what are the key ones there? Well, what we do is we look at what, what other countries are doing to try and maximise the economic benefit from having major sporting clubs like Celtic in in, in their locality, in their city. And there's a few things which there's important lessons to take away. So one is, what can you do to maximise that spend that happens around match day? Because it's that which benefits the, the local economy. It boosts expenditure right across, right across Glasgow. And the second thing we also look at is an increasing number of cities are trying to look at what they can do to use sports tourism as actually a thing that plays into their annual tourism strategies. So how you can get, encourage people to come and, you know, visit Celtic Park, attend a match and then spend an extra few days in the local region and that in turn generates significant economic uh, benefits. And then there's the wider thing we're talking about, looking at about the wider participativist elements that come into uh, watching sporting and the wider productivity benefits and health benefits that can provide across society.